essentially what does that mean that is god showing me that this guy is priding himself in succeeding to knock out a christian there is a man a south african man a christian that recently died from the kind of witchcraft that is pursuing me this guy was priding himself in having been given a run for his money by a brother of mine that he finally killed now why would the lord allow a christian to die at the hands of such people a lot of times it's because martyrdom is allowable in the bible it is written that they will sometimes kill you the days coming when those who kill you will do so thinking they're doing a service to god christians get martyred all the time we get killed we get beheaded we get all different kinds of things happening to us but sometimes a christian will pass away from a severity of spiritual war because in order to cope they went to the bottle because in order to cope they went to the uh to the cigarettes because in order to cope they they smoked the blunt of marijuana because in order to cope they snuffed the line of cocaine because in order to cope they allowed themselves to basically do something compromised or they they watched porn or they masturbated thinking that it's going to relieve their pain anything to basically I mean, when your flesh is broken, when your flesh is crushed and devastated, you will sometimes want to please it in some way so it hurts less. So they will masturbate and stuff like that. And this brother of mine, I, I suspect, was in the same spiritual war that I'm in right now and did not down tools on whatever was his area of compromise. And one day it knocked him out. One day it knocked him out. And this little beast from the occult was out just saying, you keep on saying with sparrows, nothing is going to fall to the ground. If sparrows don't fall to the ground without God knowing it, and you think that mean I can't kill you, just the other day I killed your brother. Literally, that was the arrogance that, that came through in that. No, it wasn't a dream, it was a word of knowledge. I was wide awake. It's like he was saying, Just the other day, in other words, just the other day, I killed a Christian man, a South African man, is dead today. Or he's already been buried some occult practitioner is proud of the fact that he finally knocked out a christian that was a force to be reckoned with i don't know what that brother of mine did to get taken to heaven because i, I get some words saying but all i can conclude is that that arrogance god was showing me is coming from a place of these occult practitioners knowing that all they need to do is make christians compromise and then once we compromise sing abulala there are human sacrifice rituals they can enter their demons in through that portal that hole that drunkenness that the one day you go to the bar and you drink all night will be the one day when you get shot dead in a bar fight you will not go to hell but you will enter heaven like i said as through the fire the lord will never ever let us go to hell mara we we we, we would be left to perish because of walking in a compromise so i'm trying to help you women understand that just like that one Oluwako tiktok just like that one over there on tiktok it is not about going to ZCC or some man of God. It is about consecrating yourself. And you also have to abandon whatever is standing in the way. If, if you smoke, hey girl, do everything in your power to quit smoking. If you take grandpa like I did, if you masturbate, if you, you get my point, whatever might be the sin, if, if there is some show on Netflix that you watch that has a whole bunch of sex scenes in it, ditch it like abandon it if at all it causes you to sin gouge it out cut it off when especially you are in a severity of spiritual war when especially you are in a severity of spiritual war you literally you, you can't like you so in the occult that thinks because he has killed my brother he can kill me that arrogance god was like this is why you're going to kill them they are going to be knocked out arrogantly thinking or one christian knocked out is 10 knocked out you don't understand to every so often god raises up such a feverish fervent effervescent warriors that umundokona will cold turkey quit whatever that's making them frustrated they will enter into a fast they will pray and they will dish the cigarettes literally on the day that god tells them if you don't quit smoking while spiritual warring uzoshona just because a cigarette that that cigarette habit is the hole that is open that is making your spiritual world that much more onerous you keep on kicking doors down do you understand what i'm saying when these doors are easily opened they can swing wide open without even you fasting and then kick me do you understand what i'm saying in a way how can cat can go in kick me out in a, in, in a way that you wouldn't have to if at all you were not seasonally smoking cigarettes you you just cannot let yourself carry on in this fashion so i dropped the grandpa so much so that 
I've got a box of compra that I I asked my mom to buy. Give me a complete tampon in the box at compra for the, for my period, for when my period comes, because my period pains are too ridiculous for me to not take something for them. God understands when you take meds for that reason. Enough the the the. the reasons that i've been taking meds have not been understandable in the sight of god so only once a month on my period will i take two compros in the morning and when the pain gets sharp and ridiculous again take another two until my period is over and then exercise self-control to put the painkillers down even when the smallest little headache is popping up on the side of my head i gotta drink water have some coffee watch something on youtube and it, it, like clockwork he has proven himself true like clockwork after a few hours of praying, my headache is gone. I, I literally look around and somehow I don't feel it. The headache that attacks me tends to be the headache that attacks me tends to be around little mona, gone. and also the magnitude of it, how strong it is, how bad the headache is, also has stopped. Like since I stopped taking grandpa, how bad the headache was stopped. So basically, years ago when I first started getting the splitting headaches, I was supposed to at that stage basically just pray through it and then that it would leave me it's written in god's word that resist the devil and he will flee from you it, it, at that stage i should have done that but i didn't i decided to take grandpa and then i gave myself a habit do you understand what i'm saying recently i have gone through some kind of strange headache that i would feel that would make me lift my head from the pillow but i have ignored medication and i've also taken pepper pepper helps right um because it overwhelms your senses and your eyes water and whatnot and so taking pepper helps me essentially trick my body my face into thinking i don't have a headache and while my body is recovering from that pepper the headache then completely goes away so not only has the magnitude of the headache subsided but some days i don't have it at all and if at all it gets out of hand i will then take pepper and there'll be nothing going on and ever since finding an alternative to deal with me needing painkillers for my headaches i promise you the spiritual war has been that much more successful you can tell when you're fighting successfully even if you are yet to see the physical manifestation of deliverance you can tell when you are in a war that is a winning one and i am in a war that is a winning one in a way that i can tell to a point where all of these horrible females that have broken my heart are trying to come back into my life on their terms the girl that i told you about i used to go to primary school with her and we were friends on facebook and lawyer 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 she's gone according to god she's a reprobate she's been handed over because she has blasphemed the holy spirit and she has she's trying to crucify the son of man twice do you understand even though she started out trying to be with him it's over Shem. i'm trying to get other women to not end up like that she wants me back more belong behind all guilty from totally and saying maga for some strange reason i don't repent because she's written off do you understand what i'm saying when i know this woman is trying to get me her gay baby thing this thing get a consult her or advice she wants to advise me to go and consult a psychic and whatnot because she literally cannot trust christ because she's been handed over that badly so when i saw that dreamy other chick i was like yes let me talk to some women Holy Spirit. crucify the Son of Man twice. reprobate in the sight of God to a point of unredeemability, to the point of Hofezwa, to a point where they can't come back to God now. Uh, allow me to help you to literally neutralize. Like my ex-boyfriends eh, that are holding you hostage, they gotta die. They are reprobate, the blackest of darkness have, has been reserved for them forever. Ha o conquera, one feet. They come back and they say, Oh, well, last week I killed your boyfriend. King, last week I, I killed your brother. There is literally a man that is content with his witchcraft because he thinks that he is on equal playing ground. He thinks he is on equal playing ground with Christians. And when I did that video speaking about how I'm not going to die unless God says so, his response was just the other day, priding himself in having murdered a Christian through enough satanic rituals until the man fell apart. Not realizing that chances are the reason that man fell apart was because he was in so much war that maybe one day, one night, he settled and ended up just going on a drinking spree because he was broken. And so trying to make his flesh less pained, he sinned. And that's when they get to you, they pounce on you that way. He would enter heaven, like I said, by the skin of his teeth and as through the fire, he would never be forsaken. But it is that very thing that I'm trying to block people from ending up as to it's not okay to go to heaven barely making it and it is also not okay for witches to think that they're on equal playing ground with us i've just stopped, stopped taking grandpa and so like the saying over here creamed like a cake because the door stopper is out the way i've moved the door stopper 
I recently successfully advocated for somebody that was supposed to end up in prison. And I stood in the gap for them and all they got was a slap on the wrist. I prayed all night long and all they ended up getting was a slap on the wrist. That was God showing me this is what power you have, Garab. How sali busy grandpa? When you're not busy taking kura powder elengara keshebet, that's what you can do. You can make stuff go away. So if you ask me to knock these buggers out this time around, Gizoba Kipa, because I'm going to send my angels. And whatever entities lodge into the holes that you open through compromise are not going to be there. And so my angels are going to knock them out the way. Oh, fast. That was our fast day. So ask me again, what do you want? Mzebezi, you got it. Ask me again, what do you want for that bugger in America to die? You got it. Ask me again, what do you want for Pari E.A. Jurizongura Ekabo Bazalani by 10 in one year? You got it. Ask me again, what do you want? And I asked the Lord last night, I prayed until 8 a.m. because the witchcraft was still coming and coming and coming. Until 8 a.m. this morning, and I begged them. I was like, oh, the guy will go to America first and foremost. He got to go. The American guy got to go. I asked the Lord to also neutralize the, the little menace or oh, the occult kingpin, Omdala, the South African tycoon. He is some powerful man in this country. We just thought it was only a matter of time. I had a dream about him about two weeks ago. Weeks, maybe even a month okay the wind the wind i'm worried that the wind is is, 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 is is distracting anyway whatever i got a dream of him jumping off his balcony to his death in advance this was even before i knocked grandpa out the way essentially the law shows me what in the world is going to happen to these people but you gotta stand firm i recently lost a job opportunity because some cousin of mine owned really and so many other people to make sure i don't get it i was like god i I'm discouraged, so discouraged am I, that I even stopped applying for jobs for the past two weeks since I apply because of that one falling through. I was really broken and the Lord was telling me, has been telling me, has been showing me rather, I've been getting flash visions, being shown, going through an interview process and finally succeeding, succeeding to get a job. I've been seeing finally succeed and I have just thrown it away on some high sugar. I've just thrown it away and just said hi suga. I've thrown it away and said hi suga. nothing is giving because of the other day you told me I'm going to get a job and the next thing it falls through. God was like, the angels were gonna were, were rocking up to rescue you, but you opened a portal, a door, a door. Some door was open, but you need to move the thing out the way that's causing this hindrance. So this bugger, in advance already, the Lord showed me a jumper of a building to his death. I bully, the very arrogant fool that keeps on saying, just last week, just last week I killed another Christian man. Yeah, he jumped off a building to his demise. And from what I saw, it happened in front of him, like he committed suicide in front of his wife by jumping off a tall structure. It was on his own property where he ended his own life. He was wearing a red gown, a red robe, um, similar to the ones that I'm wearing. Uh, and he was holding a, 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 a cup or glass of whiskey or vodka wine. I get to be the stuff that they drink. Yeah. He drank it. Ne, this vodka or whiskey of his. Haketamu about jumpa off the balcony of his house. As for the whiskey thing, Musaidwa thingy Ali not far. The wife was like not far, and the wife did not expect him to jump off the balcony. Oh, Moya Ona, I'm worried that you can't hear me, but I I'm gonna speak outside because this is an interlude. I'm from Yoshilanga Pagat. The king, this, this man killed himself in front of his wife. Like a, a regular Tuesday. It, it was like a regular Tuesday or Sunday or whatever. And he was go balcony, yaha, break gown. Gown, do you understand? Did it lepe lepe, yanaza, busiu? I know whiskey. And he just asked for whiskey and everything. Climbed over his balcony and killed himself. What does that? This man killed himself as a blending because I'm trying to think like the wife was just behind him doing whatever she was doing. He, he, he did not contemplate it, he did not plan it, he did not think it through. He just suddenly got taken over by something and it made him jump. It made him jump. And this woman was left at the balcony screaming on some. She was left at the balcony screaming on some, let's say his name was Temba. Temba! 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 As she watched her man fall to his death. And from what I saw, the, the, the place where he jumped from was not even so high that it would kill a person. That's the kind of fall that if you take it, maybe you'll have like a broken leg 
or a broken uh, shoulder or whatever but this man jumped to his death because he was made to jump in a way so as to kill him perhaps maybe he landed Gatoho and then snapped his neck but he was basically pushed off that cliff by an entity by a spirit there was something that made him suddenly just decide to jump because he wasn't planning on doing it he, it was not planned he just did it that is why I say without even planning they cannot commit suicide they will never they know the acidic type is out they will say in all of their arrogance but they will one day find themselves grabbing a gun from their gun safe and just pulling the trigger because god is gonna make them do it they're gonna neutralize themselves they're gonna get into helicopters and not come back they're gonna get on in cars and not come back they're just gonna be walking and then just drop dead and just feel like and a uh, heart attack brain aneurysm or just some event just some freak accident they're just gonna die like dominoes da 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 and i asked the lord malvani mudim kupa obelaya the guy from america and as i'm busy praying i get a dream not a dream a vision while i'm praying of me going to there's a video that i did where i was speaking about some freak sexually abusing them when i was a kid coming up going up so we took it like I had a whole with this one Makwenya shop and he was a terrorist in the community. Like he can sign a bit of a papa action go hizo hizo, right? He was that thing and I had a, a, a dream of me go, a vision while I was praying of me going there to Tunya walking towards Bethlehem that was the name of this Gwenya joint Bethlehem walking towards Bethlehem Hey this wind I hope you can still hear me okay I was walking towards Bethlehem and I walked towards him like I was from a distance and I, I walk towards this man I stood there with both my hands of course right now I can't show you with both my hands because my one hand is holding my phone and I pointed to him and when he saw me coming and he was like oh, and just as he was busy saying oh my goodness what's going on bah, I shot him so many times so many times I shot him so many times wow, wow. the people scattered Kula Bethlehem. They scattered all over the show and I saw that dude from the floor. Una Berge Parotirin. So he was wearing nothing but a black outfit. And I saw him. Adusim Moloko Bethlehem. Maria Kha Atoloha. A pool of blood. Just like um, expanding a, a wider radius around his body. While I, I watched him. I took a fancy. He wasn't even dying. He was dead. This guy wasn't even dying. But he was already dead. He was gone. Um, but I'm about to finish anyway he this guy was not even dying he was dead and I walked towards him the way that I was so fulfilled and so um, it's like my righteous indignation had been fulfilled in my dream I did not even have I didn't even have a sense in my vision ne, to run because I had just killed a man in, in broad daylight in front of everybody I walked towards him and I just watched him bleed out and something inside me in my in, in my dream and not dream but vision understood that I'm not going to jail for this I understood that I was not going to jail for it so much so that I boldly did this in public knowing that I'm gonna go home and eat dinner at the end of the day and this dude was neutralized Elohori he had been a menace to society he had wreaked havoc in the lives of many women and I was just one of his victims and I finally knocked him out that's what I saw in my vision when I was praying all night until 8 a.m. in the morning on the come up little girls he was a rapist of literally primary school girls when i was in um growing up god lady so it and i had a vision of me walking to him where he used to hang with these boys and shooting multiple times and then walking towards his body and watching all that pool of blood become bigger and bigger and bigger around him with everybody having gas uh, sparking and run, run away that was the lord showing me what happens my baby when you stop smoking cigarettes when you stop taking alcohol when you stop masturbating when you stop abs when you stop swearing when you stop doing things that break my heart you close doors for entities and your prayers this time effective fervent prayer righteous men avail much so banna when i say creams like a cake because the door stopper is out the way understand if y'all don't repent you are dying you are reprobate langut la senya la jack roller la ravaza some of y'all hello talk a fella because jacob i have loved you so i have hated some of y'all are soul on the road to damascus and so because he's gonna win you 
He's gonna win you. So you're not reprobate. You are not so far gone that you can't respond to messages like these. But some of y'all respond by saying, Oh, those are the guys that are getting out. La toka falalangutra. Khalele sa rutwanele, little rona, rituale lona, vele vele because we were only fourteen. Vele vele because we were only sixteen. Rejoice lena, vele vele because na resanya relebana. Rejoice le lona because we were naive and silly. Rejoice le lena because we just wanted to have boyfriends. It was fun, je. Ujola, megum nandi, so si jole nani. Even though many sa nerasa rutwanele, you couldn't even spell. You kept on failing your comprehension test at school, and yet you are just dating a chick. That is going to get a scholarship to go and study events. Ninja, man, get up for you. Held us hostage, get it clear, making sure that we don't get anywhere. And like that chick, we go TikTok, calling fra. We don't go to CC. I can say that now, I go to CC, and happy I go a man or a woman of God. I go God directly, direct line to heaven. That's what we got. And even though the past cup, there was a time when you almost got me, because then it's busy, can can walk grandpa. There was, and again, God also showed me that grandpa, me taking it was similar to me taking smoking cigarettes, because I used to smoke cigarettes back in the day. That ma, my mom and Romile to go and buy stuff at spa. So I'm in her car, about to drive there. So I'm gonna finish this message in the car. I don't know if I can switch on a light in here, so as to make sure that I've got light. Just keep like on. Like perpetually, I should have actually gotten some kind of a light. But yeah, um, this car always just confused. Yeah, there we go. That that works, right? I will keep that light on as I drive. Yeah. Okay. Yes. This guy. This little menacing psychopath. All right. Because. Somebody else has come using the wrong side, the indicators. Anyway, whatever. Get hydrates at this guy. Because my brother in Christ. He killed my brother in Christ recently. Like there is a man in South Africa that out here has been killed by an occult psychopath. And they these people, because they, they lack doctrinal understanding, he has no idea that the reason likely why my brother in Christ died was because of his compromise, but not because heaven can somehow be conquered really and truly it is not an equal playing field between god and and satan it's not this is not an equal playing field but that level of pump and that level of arrogance on the part of these wicked men i am trying to put out the, like right now even as i'm speaking to you guys i keep on hearing in the spirit their sentiment where i am concerned they look at me as a woman that is unsexed like i am sexless sexless the way that they're so licentious all they think about is ugansi to a point where i am regarded as someone that just needs to have sex to let loose i mean that level of sexual harassment what are you gonna do women we are at the mercy of la madota we as women tend to be insistent upon reciprocity where men are concerned right we want to we want to be loved back by them so we are far more readily willing to let go when a guy but men there's just something about men and i i, I thought i thought like proper there's so many there's even so many shows on tv evidencing this reality there is something about men that makes them disinterested in the fact that you are disinterested in them it is about ownership and when somebody feels ingati yo joe like my ex-boyfriend my ex-boyfriend i do not know I gotta switch off this aircon with this ganga says I don't know how many times I have dreamt about him trying to come back into my life. Yo, this guy say the woman that was the bane of my existence, first and foremost, alright? Nelly side peace yeah when we were together. Every so often he would cheat on me with her. Now he wants to make me a side piece or a mistress to the woman that was once my side piece in other words she was the side piece wreaking havoc in my life now those tables gotta turn lenja lena thinks uh if at all i don't want to be a side piece he is content not divorce and then come and marry me i am fooling he is looking at me be single at 40 and just like that guy on on tiktok 
de thoroughly be saying, look at that yellow light on top. It's just giving. Anyway, yeah, the, the woman on TikTok, a boyfriend that thing, ex, was busy saying, this pain in your life is only gonna stop when you come back together with me. I mean, when you know that somebody is harassing you that much, but they're a stalker. They are a stalker. Do you understand? They are your abuser. They are your thing that goes bump in the night. Go to Lento Lena that goes bump in, in your particular night. It can go to Lana figure when you are at ease and content. Do you understand what I'm saying? With Ukbanaye, they don't see when they've literally gone too far, when when literally you are irreconcilable now. You have literally got what are, what is called irreconcilable differences. Like when, when you've gone to a point where you so hate a person that there's no talking anymore. There's no negotiating anymore. Like they have so messed up that I could send a conversation to be had. That, yeah. And yet they still think it would be feasible. I'm a daughter. By a sign, guys. I don't know what is going on. I get to what I learn. My ex boyfriend got there literally like 10 years ago. And yet he's still trying to come back into my life. He thinks it would be possible. I don't understand what that's about. That is a person that is reprobate. Do you understand? When, when, when a person is scared of you, when a woman is afraid of you and you still think you can get her back when she literally pees in her pants when you walk in the room when she can't get a restraining order against you because you are using spiritual weapons to deal with her when you have made her life a living nightmare when you have haunted her life with spirits When you have haunted her life with spirits, how in the world do you can you even fathom the day arriving when this woman is going to be your wife? When she's going to be okay with you? I mean, like for me, it's it's just it's so freaking bizarre. It is so bizarre. It is so bizarre. I do not understand, even in the slightest. What is going on in the minds and in the hearts of men that feel like Abafazingababo, like when men say, Warm, you are mine, and this woman is scared of you? This woman is scared of you. And you've tried to kill her, like the guy in America kills me. My ex boyfriend has tried to kill me twice. The guy in America, it's a voodoo candle. He burns it and at the end of that candle burning, I'm supposed to be dead. Do you understand? He has burned that candle more than 10 times that I can count on my hands. He keeps trying. He keeps trying. Every time his love spells fail, he then goes back to death spells. So he slays my ex in terms of his homicidal intentions. Ex-boyfriend Yama has tried to kill me guy too with two human sacrifice rituals that failed. This guy in America does it in his own capacity practicing at Jardini and has tried so many times that I can't even count them on my ten fingers and toes with this candle of his. Yet, every time these spells fail, he's like, okay, fine. If you don't die, then still, I want you in my life. You are mine. I mean, that is a man that you are scared of, aren't you, on that day? We are Guys, why wouldn't you be scared of the man that has tried to kill you more than 20 times? Why wouldn't you be scared of Indota? As a mobulala guy twenty. A man that's tried to kill you twenty A man that has tried to kill you twenty times. Why wouldn't you be scared of him? Seriously speaking, like let's have a com let's talk, okay? I've arrived at this bar. Why under heaven would you not be afraid of a man that has tried to kill you twenty, thirty, forty times? A man that's driven a knife into your body. 20, 30, 40 times, but you survived. Why wouldn't you be scared of that? These men do occult rituals to try and kill you. They feel that your body is theirs. They want to have sex with you, gun gun. When you survive their rituals, they then want to bring back lost lover. When you are with them, he is dangerous. And yet he expects his victim, the woman in question, to let it be water under the bridge that you try to kill me. They expect women to get over big indiscretions.
They expect women to get over volumes of trauma and abuse. Cause my feel I ain't got you on go um when. In the danger, what man is showing guys? A man like that just needs to die. No, sorry. Wait again, guys. A man like that needs to die. Like, there is nothing you can do for Indonda. It's only a matter of time before when I got up you're my wife because I'm going to make sure that I equate in Indonda as Octan and I'm going to go to the house. So, until such time that you see that you're not going to be fine unless you're with me, we're going to be doing this cat and mouse forever. We're just going to be running around like Tom and Jerry in a maze forever. I've got energy. I'm now going to have energy. I'm going to Okay, very well. I'm going to have He's got energy. So I guess what do you do with something that has energy that is unfailing, that is a scary thing to you, that is never ceasing? It's just a bog. It needs to die. In order, it's a good thing for 20 years. It needs to die. A man that keeps on investing in death. Wait a second, I cannot have an ex-boyfriend. I don't care about your wife that you want to betray Ganna and make out of me a stranger that used to be made and now she's a side piece to the same chick that used to be a side piece to her. I don't care. That you basically are going to have people graveling and mourning. Bottom line is, by the time you pass away, I try to speak sense, Mama knew. I try to speak sense also at Tengne. Kemozam me muta ko hen. Kemozam me gata pelo. And as you the stopper is out the way. Your boy gotta die. Your boy gotta die. He gotta go to hell. Okay. The dude in America gotta die. The random dude in South Africa, okay, someone's being that is a prolific Satanist. Okay, I'm going to mean it's only a matter of time before I am with him. Oh, what the pride and gata he killed my brother in Christ. Tanse ba choka file ba choba. They, they have to die. They, they probably have got to die. In order that now today is a 45 year old man. Got a minging in high school. Nine, well, not, not 44. He was in my trick when I was in grade eight. Then decided to go see. He's got a crush on me. Finds me on social media and then blocks my marriage prospects. Despite in the good tea. mazi as I'm a shell. Harajol. Mara, he just liked me from Facebook. Realized that I was out of his league. And then was like, okay, every woman that is out of my league that makes me feel some kind of way. Okay, ngiyonitaunderstandurahamunaaliondaattipulangkutwaifitallomozamewamozamulakakospelseasonlokelchabunlokelspiwenkalungegebooyswusisokupunlokeljustleaveme alone andthenthey't leave you alone listen I've got an
Let your mama go and marry some other dude that don't know me and take you up as a daughter and treat you well. Let's, let's pray for your mom. Okay, little girl, let us pray for your mom to meet a man that is not going to cheat on her spiritually after your dad dies. Okay, to meet a man that is not going to have inyazi in the spirit, inyazi out of a woman that he met on Facebook and then decides to go to a man unless abake a man that has his own wife and yet insists on making a mistress for life out of our young woman in her late 20s going into her 30s uzo tati kamba lonke le tegen mwaba wani amfuna ngenkan yeah your daddy gotta die ne because if he doesn't your mom is not gonna stop getting heartbroken by your dad or shalangdi chirika korobela on the internet even though he's married to your mom and your dad who also every so often decides that they need to die because they don't want to jolla with him and everything your mama deserves better so do you see little girls why it is that frankly the world is a better place without your dad the world is a much better place without your dad even your life is better because you're gonna have to deal with a crying sobbing mother that's always heartbroken because her deadbeat husband won't leave some 25 year old on the internet alone so everybody is better off without this man you will mourn for five seconds for three seconds it'll be uncomfortable to be at funerals and for those of you y'all that are into that whole sito vibe or drop a black for six months scale fine but afterwards you are free to go and marry some dude that is not going to out your humiliate the living crap out of you do you understand by ukshela itcheri on the internet meet a man also vimba hostage he ex girlfriend yeah, kid that he was dating when he was in matric and now won't come to na fort and this bugger is still holding on to her like a carcass in the wilderness like a, a, a carry on a scavenger this dude oh the nickel varsity you are 50 and yet you still have not had a child neither gotten married he gotta die women i'm trying to help you understand how to kill these guys they have to die I'm not speaking about the guys that let you go because I am tricky in anybody. I've got an ex-boyfriend. My first love ever, the guy who broke my virginity. Na yung vimbenge me at the very beginning. And ever since then he has left me alone. I'm not speaking about him. I'm not trying to get that little deadbeat killed. Kya ga enjoy the breast of the wife of his youth. Even though una no go tswere ga His his witchcraft is no longer operating because I defeated him long ago. Kidilaka ex-boyfriend, kidilaka the guy in America, kidilaka some strangers that don't know me on the internet. But feel I ain't got to mean I need to have sex because I am sexless. So lama tota la determined. Ugungi tola. Gushubile manje zinja. I'm sure you think Uguti this is an equal playing ground. I'm about to cream you. Wabona here. Let me put my black uh, top lana, my black jacket, creamed like a cake. Because the door stopper is out the way. I kiss her and grandpa and got a cigarette. And from what God showed me, my bunny, one of y'all, but you are a ravazi and got it too. Got it bullet sitting at the inner vision. And I stood over your body saying, Good riddance, man. Great. You know, no, but I'm not my bunny. I get to be off thing. Mother, there's a man that I killed. It's only a matter of time before he passes away in real time. If you don't repent, you see, I do these messages. Because there's like an olive branch being offered in every last one of them. The remaining of you will die. Kiton nekele lata one by one. Kiton nente ke rapela until 8 a.m. 8 a.m. in the morning. If a new one rocks up, ngizo tanda za oguti ayoshona. And ke maswabi. Ko basadi ni baseti moraho. The sons, the daughters. Nabo koko, nabo koko. Oh, nki mundu la mka emka. Kwa bo kreza. Everybody. Abo makulu. Nyaba zoela la wanta wazo kalela. Ngoba aba azuguti crash up. You had to die. Wanku mundu is better off without you. This is an uh, an olive branch. Lankutu abana. I am praying for you to repent first and foremost. That's first price. Marasama yola so reprobate. That like I said, there's a dude that I'll just be saying. You think you can't be killed. You are arrogant. Ding wane ngana ne. Bottom line is mina. Hana ntok say khone. He's told himself for an and twenty say honing. And then now it's only a matter of time. Because we try this about alone but honang drop a like a domino bad day. Yeah, I will admit. Because every so often we go to the bar instead of to Christ to deal with our pain. But I don't go to the bar and I definitely don't go to grandpa anymore. So na I'm going to be the one person that you think it's only a matter of time that you're going to wake up suddenly in torments like the rich man with rich men in Lazarus. You're going to wake up in hellfire. We put all the how, how did you jump off a balcony? Having lost your senses and cracked your neck in front of your wife. Why is it bulalanje? 
in front of Abantu and the Mfaz, he ever took this dude, literally jumped off his balcony, got jarred, got to his mansion, to his demise. Unkari, he was in a trance because Megana is born. Utwenza, washon, yeah. And God, if you know hope we were about how you were great men, philanthropists, altruistic. They're going to talk about how you were men of God because you were always perusing them church aisles. But you will be in Hades, weeping and gnashing your teeth for all of eternity. The smoke of your torment rising up forever with you having listened to this video. There is a man that is already on his way out. Do you understand? Gimbulele is solo. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. Before he passes away in waking life, and ever you see, that's the thing. In my dream, this guy lives on a back in the Daniel Kefas. That video, however, is coming well in the future. So, if at all you're still listening to me and I'm still around in the future, and if we still have not been raptured, ne, you will remember that I spoke about a character named Kefas, some dude that was a terrorist, Ekasi, where I used to live growing up. He was a rapist, he was a Jack Roller. And I dreamt about me going towards Ukefas and killing him. And Abangan Bake, everyone that was at that Bethlehem, at that Gwenya joint where he used to chill, Langim Tubule Kona, Babaleg. Essentially, what I'm getting at is that because of the death of this one guy, my prayer is that the rest of y'all will scatter. Iskim Saga Kefas, si scatter. Iskim Saga Papa Action, si scatter. I am calling you guys to leave us alone. Abafaz. Because God is upset with Tabaro, you have made women monsters. You have made women unredeemable like the one that I'm telling you about that I used to go to primary school with can't even be saved anymore. You have made women blaspheme the Holy Spirit. You've made them so evil that they can't even love their own kids. You are taking people to hell. Priding yourself in Indabayoguti when I was out this home because you know of one that passed away because you, you did enough death rituals. You don't even know what's causing them to pass away from death rituals when we've got the power to conquer all that jazz. It's human error. That causes us to miss out on our promise, not God. So, seeing as okay, for so your border, everybody else, there is already a man that is on his way out. Last night, I prayed in particular for the guy who America or Rano Tokafal, but I don't know who I was shooting dead. All I know is that I was praying in tongues, feverishly begging God in my comprehended understanding in my mind. I was begging him to Ugutabulele, the guy in America, because Uyangi, Kenya. His witchcraft is also amateur. He's amateur. There are more prolific Satanists around him. More prolific. And yet, Usazama. Baba Nata. So, knock out the one, Otale number one. Knock out the original domino. Uye. When I came back to YouTube, Otale Kala. Mogu blogger my content, Wam. Everyone that could see me, everyone that could follow me. You get my point, right? Baska Tokwa Lokospa. You get my point, okay? So because he's been here for, it's going to be three years. Uh, next year, we are already at the end of 2024. It's going to be three years next year. He's the longest standing one, so he's the first one to go. I begged God to kill him. And I saw myself successfully killing someone. I'm not sure if it's him, but I hope it is. Bottom line is, with him scattering, with him dying, some of y'all better scatter. You don't fucking stand outside of a shooting where a woman is pissed off killing men and just stay there hoping to keep on impending her. This is not an equal playing ground. I will win. God has given me final approval to end you all. And you will die, Lankudra. Little clock of fire, like clockwork, you will literally go to hell. You are going there. Your silver cords are about to get cut. You you pride yourself in Indabayoguti. Omolohi, and you don't think God is coming through for me. This is a call to action. Repent or perish. Walk away. Stop casting spells on women that ain't never gonna be yours. Stop thinking of me as something that, that is sexless. I just need to go and have sex and so right. Yeah. For as long as you keep on thinking that trash in your brains, this is what's good. Kefase is on his way out. The first of you miscreants is gonna is already dead. He's as good as dead. He's as good as dead. It's only a matter of time. He needs to get his, his affairs in order. He's already gone. He's gone. He, he died last night. So if he is still walking these streets, a month is too long. This, this bugger is gonna die. Nimbulele mina self. Yet I was not able to kill him for three years. Cause nantagili pizik nantakinga grandpa. He's dying. God gave him all that time. Azangwa repent. He is a reprobate. 
Do you understand? Now, if you do not scatter from the scene of the killing, you will catch a stray. Do you understand? You will catch a stray and I will indiscriminately continue to shoot and you will die. My prayers are powerful. It's just that I've been hindering them, the grandpa, but I've stopped taking grandpa. So I would hugely recommend you leave me alone. I warned you, I can and even when women say you insist on the shapagamaroma. Linda Linda Tumpaka di Corobella. Little idea because that's the only way to stop a menacing psychopath on the lawyer Cheriza is a hash. Or sometimes also Mosibo Mosadico interneting, Otomo lawyer Fellali Fella Escalin. Lomunto Agagas, got to peace nine. Mufazo Abanto Agasu Chata, got to peace. Good right. Soon I'm going to get a job. Go right. Soon I'm gonna get out of this because even though the rapture is up and coming, herein lies the very bottom of the line. In the run up to the rapture happening, stuff still needs to happen. And y'all ain't gonna stand in the way of that. You are not going to hold me hostage on some oh Ratabona second coming at Jesus Christ Limoka Karabonaki Tokoloya until Kingdom come ya unless you go to hell first. And I'm out to counseling women. Basadi to it. Tohelan kutiketa di satani. I have a little bit of 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 a of God of a little bit of a little bit Consecrate yourself, we won. Then get into fasting and praying and watch Njael or no Jalali when I go first year. He will die. But they have to die. Because they feel entitled. But they say, you are mine. Kabang. In general, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I need him gone. Good riddance. I'm sorry, 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 i she needs me to kill her man. Because who in the world is okay with a man that is going to cheat on her spiritually with 10 women? Or about swearing in a prison? Because he wants to hold 10 other women hostage. I'm sorry, if that was my husband, I'd kill him myself. So really, I'm doing you a favor, widows. I'm doing you a favor. I'm doing you a favor. I'm doing you as a favor. I'm doing you a favor. You need him to go. Here's the thing. The Bible says that you can't remarry after divorce if your spouse is still alive. And as long as you're still beautiful, they are pointy like pencil tops, your hips. Your breasts are still perky. They are never mind on your chest, never mind down here. The way you are still so beautiful. Then how come you divorce? Mudimo is going to consider you an adulteress if you marry another man. So I'm basically giving you freedom. Hey, the only time you can remarry is if this deadbeat is dead. He needs to pass away for you to successfully remarry. So I am giving my ex-boyfriend's wife free reign to go and get remarried. She's still young like me. She's a 40-year-old woman just like me. I'm short just like me. I'm a bello I said perky just like me. Hey, her hair still grows. I got a girl. I also really gray hair. She's got some kids with him. Fine. Some dude will take up and do another. Okay. I am freeing you from the freak. Oh, see, one good one. More favors, frankly, I'm not doing for you than you did for me. Oh, I didn't appreciate that. But this time around, keep mature. Kim Zalwan. I'm setting you free. Without sinning against God. Repent, give your life to Christ. After this bugger dies, mourn for five months. And then go your jaw. And I'm going to go to the without sinning against God, without being an adulteress, I'm setting you and your daughters free from that freak. I'm setting you free. You will remarry a man that you did not have to divorce because he died. Women, you need me to kill these men for you because you will not kill them themselves yourself. on a pendulum. Mm-hmm. on a noose, on a noose like a pendulum, like Ricky Rick, That's what I'm getting at. I'm setting you free. If I don't kill your husbands, 
they will continue to terrorize this whole South Africa. So I'm just here to let you know that I am presently on a mission to assassinate every last one of my afflictors if they don't repent. And the wives, don't come at me all mad and angry when your freaks are dead because I frankly did you a favor, okay? That's what I wanted to say today. As for the rest of the women, you do best to get in my shoes because unless they repent and give their lives to Christ. And since the one responded to me saying that Jesus Christ is not going to let me go before he decrees it, since his arrogant response was, I'm just trying to help you understand that the majority of them, no God that's going to come through for you. busy going back to the drawing board of occult magic. Bahuzama over and over again. And now occult magic, the thing about it is, you will always conquer to overwhelm it, right? You will. But just the new influx of spells will put you in new war over and over and over again. And some people, seeing as they don't want to leave you alone with war, gotta die so you can have, like I said, your bra strap loosed so that you can have your corset loose. Some people gotta die so you can breathe. So, but what go how my ex boyfriend? If he doesn't repent, he's going to pass away in a car accident. And when he dies, just know that he died because of me. Like proper, his family must have a thorough comprehension on his funeral that I did it. Also, the guy in America, well, no one will know because I get right now he's privately clandestinely doing stuff in the background. If he, I don't know, that guy, I think he's the one that I killed yesterday. And then he then scattered from the scene of the the shooting. I don't know which one it was, but it just needs to be understood that certain of my, not certain, no, it's how many of my exes are busy right now? Kanna. It is largely one. One of them has already passed away. He died even before I came to Christ. But there is one in particular. And I Bye bye. kept me single for 13 years since we last broke. We're together. Your brother kept me single for 13 years. I've got a geriatric womb. I. Uh, I'm a spinster at 40 and I'm presently unemployed unable to go anywhere if your brother dies because he still won't repent understand that I had to kill him he had to be gunned down after 13 years after 13 years after 13 years I'm sorry girl you're gonna mourn a second brother I am literally freaking sorry I, first price was his repentance but now widows gonna be out here walking these streets and mothers gonna be out here mourning their dead sons because they keep on killing the daughters of other people Basadi if you want your day in the sun if you want to go and enjoy your life you better grab that teaspoon in Shawshank Redemption scoop out the dust out the wall and escape you need to go to christ but your prayers are going to yield nothing if you've got habits if you're fornicating if you're abc you basically need to you need to be clean and then enter into a hard knock fast and watch your ex-boyfriends drop like dominoes after all in grade 10 god why you are 35 and he's still busy of course he gotta go do not say mina zanga wonishane matotandini that remain you better scare her, you better leave me alone or like i said you will die you will die may the hunger games begin may the hunger king wait again you think i'm dying who would be my bitch go west park cemetery or naked or jump a gada just like Haman, you will be hung at the very gallows you set apart for me like daniel in the lion's den you will be thrown into the same den of lions that you threw me in because this time around you're dealing with a feverish fervent praying saint that does not take nlg6 a painkiller i'm a kura powder and a grandpa because she just can i guess i'm mumona grandpa and so for those reasons lord talk afal women this is your only way out i just so happen to have a whole bunch of women in concert with me that i'm a total engine now i'm a show me go to talk okay i'm going to come on comment or hurry hi i'm in god again hi i'm in god in on tiktok hire an assassin i'm not the only one that feels these men gotta die that's how much of a menace to society they are so i'm not alone or a boy i would want to have a talk about a knock up on this guy don't quite allow them quite like an adabalu mcafell after all you didn't stand with sisters like it 
all the other women on the left and on the right, if you don't want to end up like my former friend, who can now no longer be saved, because I'm busy running from pillar to post after men ransack her, you will respond to this altar call. This here is an altar call. Repent, so that you can get to the age of 35. Repent, so that you can kill these men who make you a baby mama without being a wife. Repent, so you can finally get out of your relationship that you don't know why under heaven you can't leave him. Repent, so that you can finally kill the men that feel ownership to you. Backpetting a title deed. Even though I'm a fool, I'm a stalker. Bahu bata kan kani, bahu tella di chare, bale jesa, bale fosta ko bana baba ng bahu ignore, baska ko shela. Yo eh eh, wait second. Women, repent so you can kill these buggers. And if you don't want to, all the best turning fifty, unganga chato. All the best turning ninety. Even though you were desperate for abantu and a big fat chunky family without ever giving birth, all the best being celibate for fifty years, yonke, hoping ugu tugu za fugumiye ni lime katwen. Let's enjoy, let's. If they don't die, I also chato. Don't say I didn't warn you. I'm signing out in Christ's name, Cran K. Bye-bye.